Okay, welcome back. And now we're going to begin the formal presentation. Our first speaker is going to be Phil, and he's giving his icebreaker. So please welcome Phil. Thank you guys, fellow Toastmasters, honored guests uh, for a speech tonight. So I'm just going to give you a little bit of information on myself, um, kind of where I've been in my life, where I'm currently at, and uh, some of my hobbies and such. So uh, I currently live in Chicago right now, off of North and Western. Town area. Got three roommates. It's a pretty good setup for me. Um, you know, all younger guys around my age. So, being in Chicago, um, it's it's a good area to be for um, somebody that likes to enjoy uh, more activities. I mean, there's always something to do in Chicago. So, it's a nice experience. Um, the entertainment value. I'm a big fan of Wrigley Bill. Uh, big Cubs fan, unfortunately. You know, we have one World Series in like 130 years or whatever it is. But um, still on the bandwagon, hopefully sometime that comes through maybe in my lifetime. Uh, I'm, I'm a big sports fanatic too, so uh, just being in the city, for me personally, uh, I kind of amplifies that effect for me. Even if I'm not going to a game and you go to a restaurant or a bar where it's being played, you're kind of in the same environment and uh, you know, that's, that's a fun experience. So, um, Restaurants in the area too, I'm a big fan of Thai food, I never really experienced that until I moved out to Chicago. Uh, it's much more diverse, you have a lot more opportunity to try new uh, different ethnic foods, so something too that I found to enjoy. I went to school uh, at Northern Illinois University, got a bachelor's in marketing, uh, contemplated doing a sales emphasis, uh, decided not to go that route, uh, even though it was a nationally recognized program, um, more or less because I just didn't want to do the extra work when I was in college. Uh, so, um, what I did do instead is I, I, I got into the marketing program with it, and ironically enough, I wanted to go into the sales profession anyways, uh, so it did work out for me. I don't think it handicapped me too much, uh, at least from that standpoint. Uh, and also, the, like the friends and people that I associated in college, uh, for me, uh, that was a that was a really good experience for me because uh, the character people I hung out with in high school um, was nothing compared to the character of people I associated with when I went to college, um, just more goal-oriented um, friends. and. You know, from that standpoint, I really did improve my quality of life too. So, I was very fortunate to have made that decision. Uh, my career right now, I work in the wine industry. I'm a sales rep uh, for Southern Wine and Spirits. I don't know if there's any wine drinkers in the room. A few, a couple. Okay. Um, I actually never could have remember the last time I had a glass of wine before I started working in this industry. Never got into it, uh, but it's kind of a, a, an interesting, um, you know, situation where. It, not only do you get a career where you can make money, but you kind of pick up this habit along the way, and uh, it's been beneficial for me too. So uh, I manage 27 accounts uh, in the northern Chicago suburbs. I have a counterpart. And basically, what we do is we just call on food and drug accounts and talk to individuals who can make uh, who have discretion to buy a product from us, and we try and upsell them on what we, what we produce. So uh, heavily focused on relationship selling, um, and not necessarily on the characteristics. So uh, you learn to get a better understanding for different types of people too, which has also been a, sort of a humbling experience for me. So the products I offer, I mean, you said there were a few wine drinkers in the room. Uh, pretty much uh, wines from all over the world. Australian, uh, Yellowtail is probably the most common. Uh, Jacob's Creek's another one, as long as, along with Penfolds too. I also have uh, different Italian wines, uh, Cabot, Pinot Grigio, Santa Margarita, a few different price points. But uh, just really diverse, and you, and you learn a lot about the different types of products. And um, in, in a way, it's kind of like learning a language for me, and I, I still have a lot to go with it. But hopefully, as I continue to progress uh, within this industry, you know, I'll be able to make that happen. So that's, that's pretty much it. That's all I got. It's basically a summary of uh, where I'm at right now in my life. So thank you guys. Thank you. It's pretty impressive. The uh, first day he signs up, he does a speech. Thank Good you. Good job, Bill. Okay, our next speaker is going to be Carlos, and the title of his speech is Publish Your Thoughts, so please welcome Carlos. <laughs> 